Hello there. Today we have for you a review of the classic Army Sportline series Magpul M4. This gun was about $220 off of Airsoft GI, purchased it about two months ago, and I'm doing a review for you today. Okay, so to start out, this gun is mostly plastic. Now, that's to keep the cost down of the gun, so you can still get a nice Magpul, uh, a Magpulized M4 for under $250, but not that big of a deal. Plastic is still nice. Okay, so to start out, you have a five position Magpul MOE stock, which of course is plastic. You got one, two, three, four, five. Clicks into place nicely. You just push this button up, and that's how you adjust it. Then you have a non-functioning forward assist, just there for looks, but okay, it's fun to press. You have a charging handle, which pu uh, pushes down your desk cover and exposes your adjustable hop-up. Uh, you go forward for more hop-up, backwards for less. Um, you have your classic army trades on the right side of the lower receiver, and then the Magpul PTS trades on the right side of the lower receiver along with more Magpul trades on the left side of the lower receiver, and of course your standard M4 um, fire selector switch, safe, semi, auto, clicks into place nicely, along with your non-functioning bolt catch. Um, and then you've got your standard Magpul uh, pistol grip, and it's got this nice, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it wraps around the lower receiver more than a standard pistol grip would. But that's that, and then you have your magazine release that releases the included 120 round PMAG. Um, one thing to note about this gun is the magazine release, the magazine, um, the mag well is kind of tight, so as you can see, mags don't like to fall out. This is the PMAG it came with, this is the mag brand mid cap, same thing. This is a D-Boys uh, 300 round high cap. This one doesn't even come close to falling out. That's just one thing to note about this gun. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. On the top you have your uh, carry handle, standard M4 carry handle, with your windage and uh, elevation adjustable rear sight that lines up with your um, elevation adjustable front triangle sight. You can remove this easily simply by screwing off these two knobs, comes right off, exposing your top 20 millimeter uh, Picatinny rail, you can mount anything, uh, red dot, scopes, whatever floats your boot. Next we have the delta ring, uh, which is what houses the um, Magpul MOE handguard, and inside that is the battery, and it is included with an 1100 milliamp, <clears throat> 8.4 volt battery. Not the best, but it'll get you playing. Um, and then you simply just remove the bottom part of the handguard, put your battery in, put the handguard back on, and you're good to go. Then, like I said before, you have your front triangle sight and a front sling adapter, along with a orange uh, flash hider, birdcage style that is removable and they did include an aftermarket black uh, metal flash hider that you can screw right on counterclockwise 14 millimeter. And you just gotta melt this one off. But that's pretty much the overview of the gun. Now we'll get into some of the pros and cons. Um, one of the cons I had, like I said before, was the mag well was tight, magazines getting them out. Uh, gonna be a little difficult, you're gonna have to pull them out. Um, Another thing to note is that the, the only sling mount you have is in the front. There is no uh, sling adapter already on it, on the uh, back of the receiver or on the stock. 
So you're going to have to purchase a um, aftermarket one point sling adapter uh, to be able to use um, a sling uh, for the one point style or you could maybe configure it around this uh, stock for a two point style. Another thing that I don't like about it is the delta ring is super duper loose. As you can see, it spins freely on an axis, making the handguard a tad wobbly. But other than that, the gun sh uh, shoots and performs um, exceptionally well, uh, coming in at around 340 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs, shooting about 11 rounds per second with an Intellect 9.6 volt battery. So. So that's it for the review, uh, stay tuned for the shooting test and internal uh, video.